Hi Aquarius, let's get right into this reading, okay? It's late at night, I'm doing a bunch of videos because this is what I feel like doing. And I don't know, I've just been feeling this vibe like, like this big ass aura, like super scion energy and it's just like, uh, like reading for you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and pull some cards and see what's going on. I'm just going to pull four cards. I may change my mind. I don't know. Um, and then before I flip them over, I'm going to go ahead and pull your energy. Okay. Once again, all the cards are flipped over. They come like this. So let's go ahead and pull your energy, Aquarius. Um, what is the Aquarius energy for this collective reading for them? Okay. So Queen of Cups, you're giving motherly energy, you're giving Godmother, um, or you know, you're, you're giving Godmother energy. If you're a man, you're you're giving like um Godfather energy, fatherly energy, um, parental energy. But you're giving this energy of being calm, cool, and collected. But we have the, have the two of wands, and then we have the ace of wands. But it's like you're calm, cool, and collected, but you're still pondering on a decision here, or something is making progress, or something is happening, or a plan is being executed. Or you could be doing this, okay? And it's just kind of like, okay. Yeah, I'm just staying back chilling, but I'm really working behind the scenes. Ace of Wands, and I feel like you're an inspiration to others. I'm also hearing that, that excerpt from the song Colossus by Tyler the Creator. He's a cancer, by the way. We have heavy water sign energy out here, heavy fire. And he goes like, you're an inspiration to niggas like me. Not the, nigg not the niggas with the lyrics and the beat. I'm talking about the niggas who don't know what they're going to be. Like, in the moment of heat. And he goes like, I heard that song Bastard right in the moment of heat. So the first card here we have is Organized Religion. Okay. This card we have is, ooh, I don't vibes. Stealing Your Items, a Fiery Climax Approaching. So let's, let's pull three more. Also, we have like this weird ass, might have to drive a Jeep here. I recently went on a cruise. Okay, so you're giving you giving mother vibes, baby mom's vibes, mother vibes, or like queen vibes, queen shit, bitch, like, yeah. So two of wands, that's the plan that's being executed. This could even be done behind your back, or like just something you're executing, but organized religion. So there is somebody here who, um, let's talk for a second. Not second, second. This is either a macho man or a feminine, a uh, female who's in the masculine energy. Okay. Maybe this person does something that is like hands on or something that they have to like work, build, or use their hands um, where they work, whether it's a job, work, or employment where they get paid. Okay. And this person, I, I feel like what's going on. I'm also hearing that song, All I Do by Major Jordan. It says, come see me for once. So whoever this person is, two of wands, ace of wands, somebody wants to, like, lay it down on you or somebody wants to get you pregnant. It's giving the energy for the ace of wands. If you don't know what the ace of wands is, that's that dick. Okay, you're dropping that dick. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, with the two of wands, I don't know if you're making the decision or, you know, you're thinking about it, they're thinking about it. You know, they go, like, and I can't even talk. My mind is moving ten times. My mouth is moving three times. I'm hearing i was just thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it uh, and then i hear white chicks i was thinking about it and it was like no you said it but you weren't thinking it like telepathy okay maybe telepathy can be a significance or you can like talk to this person like this but whoever this is they are a part of an organized religious group or they could be christian okay or this is how they were brought up or you know maybe they are actually from the church or they take religion very seriously or their family does or people they deal with okay but um, pregnancy vibes. I have stealing your items and a fiery climax approaches. So I feel like this person is trying to steal from you. Not an item in particularly here, but this person wants to steal your independence. They want to steal your independence. They want to steal your body from you. Or, you know, they want to steal your, you, your, your fertility. Yeah, this is a macho man. This is somebody here who's in a very masculine energy, whether it's a man or a female. Yeah, this person is like a special guest or they're wanting to make a special appearance or they're going to make a special appearance. Yeah, either they want to text you, call you, email you, but I'm also hearing, I'm just squirreling your world, trying to get in that, a pee net, okay? And it's kind of just like, 
This could be something that they're doing here. They're like trying to be a squirrel in your world. Yeah, Queen of Cups, I feel like you're the queen. You're the mother. You're like the godmother. You're the fairy godmother. You're, you're the princess. You're, you know, you're that motherfucker. Like you're that pretty, you be that pretty motherfucker. Like it's giving that vibe. Um, <coughs> somebody keep listening to ASAP Rocky. But this yeah, questioning here, a fiery climax is approaching. This is somebody here who like, <laughs> it says come and see me for once. And it says put yourself first. So I feel like what's going on, um, when it comes to you Aquarius, I feel like you always put yourself first, your needs. And if something is needing to be done or, you know, you're busy or whatever it is, you're not a sports, early bird gets the worm. I feel like, you know, whatever you need to get done first or you can work on a time schedule. You could be somebody here to like, when you need to get things done, you need to get things done. I feel like the Ace of Pentacles here. <laughs> This is like an opportunity or like a spur of the moment. I'm getting like when you have other opportunities or things regarding like your money, your time, anything like that, you put that shit first. You put yourself first. Things that, that are important to you or things that benefit you financially, materially, things like that. And um, this person is kind of like, you know, I wouldn't say they're preying on you, but they're very focused on you. They're very courageous and very strong and brolic in their approach. Somebody could like be very, very built or this person just has a big ego. Um... But like I said, um, you are unstoppable. Or they feel like, you know, I'm not going to stop. Like that, that song by Michael Jackson, don't stop till you get enough. Keep on. Like this person is not going to stop till they get enough of you or till they got you right where they want you. But it's somebody here is not going to stop till they get you pregnant. Okay. Um, yeah. Because I feel like with the Eight of Cups, you have turned your back on this person. You walk away from them. You go to them or they come in and out of your life or you do this to them. Um. Or you're more just focused and centered on yourself. But whoever it is, like I said, they, 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 yeah, with the Eight of Swords card here, when you turn your back, I feel like you make them feel like they're stuck. You you turn, you know how somebody turns a lot of on you when you're in the room? This is how they feel. Or like, you know how on Toy Story when, um, the, um, I forgot the little boy's name, but he closes the door and it's like all the toys come alive. Um, this person feels trapped or like whenever you pull your energy back or you're busy or you have priorities or you know whatever it is they feel like a victim of you or your circumstances or you know how you know imagine having a kid and you work from home and you're trying to do work and the kid's like play with me play with me play with me and you're like no i have to get things done who's gonna pay the bills around here like give me that type of vibe ten of pentacles but this person knows that you chase your bag you're all about that money you're all about that paper they may have money too but they may have inherited this or they have some type of legacy or um they've created a legacy or built one for themselves this could be what you're on the verge of doing but questioning here this person questions themselves about you but the question is is you gonna let them pull up or is you gonna pull up on them it's giving sneaky link vibes but it's like this person wants you to be their wife they want you to be their husband or, or their baby mother their baby father or they, they want to trap you with a baby it's just period um wow this took a turn um let's go ahead and put one more card yeah little dirk in india so they want you to be their baby mother or they want you to be like the baby mother of the mothers of all mothers this person has other children already they want you to be like the the queen queen bee or you know if they have other bitches they fucking with they want you to be like they right hand and like all the bitches go through you all the niggas go through you if you're a man um but yeah like i said little dirk in india so cancer and libra vibes yeah, I think I'm correct. I, I want to say India is a cancer in Little Dirk's a Libra. I know that for a fact. Um, but it's giving that energy. Like, maybe you recently heard a Little Dirk song where they play Little Dirk around you. This could be your favorite artist. I know it's mine. One of my faves. But the next card I have is a messenger is on the way. So this could be like a, a bird that you're seeing, an actual message, Facebook messenger, or somebody coming to bring you the news, a confirmation from your spiritual team, etc. But it says it smells like bitch in here. Like this person acts like they're very macho, but they're really bitched out. Or they're a bitch. Like so whoever this is who acts like a macho man or like, you know, they're strong, they're brolic, they're tough, they're rough, and nah, or they're street or whatever it is. This person is really a bitch. Or when it comes to you, you... You see their vulnerable side. Like they let you see that side of them, which is very rare. Okay. Um, why don't we have the Little Dark in India card here? Let's see. Yeah, the Hermit card. This person wants to duck away with you or they want to... Um, you know how somebody say they want to take you out the streets or, or put you on the shelf um, or take you out the game? Yeah, I know what that means, females. Take you out the game. Um, yeah, I feel like also the reason the Little Dark in India card came out because that's what this person wants to do. What I'm getting like, they want to hook you. They want to hook, line, and sinker you. Okay, yeah, the world card. They want to put an ending to you. They want to complete this this phase or this back and forth or whatever it is. They want to dash in the bud. 
it's like boom okay you're pregnant now what you know what i'm saying like this is this is what this person is on yeah knight of pentacles here they're they're wanting to attain you they want to keep you they may view you as a trophy wife or this is somebody here who literally wants to put you on the shelf or they want to literally take you out the game take you out the streets make sure you're not talking to any other men any other women this is 10 10 on a timestamp. this is what they're wanting to do um they want to pull up on you or they want you to come and see them and you know you put yourself first and when they finally get their hands on you baby they're gonna go to work if they put in work okay um yeah but why do we have the messenger is on the way card what is the message that's going to be on the way or like what's going on here so ten of wands it's an accomplishment here so a message is on the way this this could be like a confirmation about their accomplishment their intentions or what they want to do or you know it's including like their responsibility what they're responsible for or like what burdens they have what's going on but with the justice card i feel like cause and effect what goes around comes around or kind of like you know this is a truth it's going to be revealed to you this person may even say this or hint at this or joke around about it and then we have the messenger card literally in this deck which is double confirmation like i said your spirit guys are going to let you know <sighs> like future said if you don't want then, then god will let me know yeah yeah so like you're protected or like they're going to be divine signs and synchronicities that you're going to be seeing because of your spirit god is going to be showing you but i have it smells like bitch in here let's kind of see what that's about like i i i want to know i'm sorry y'all my nose is doing the most right now but yeah three of swords so it smells like okay cherry card of earth it smells like bitch in here I'm hearing that song, come on and go with me, doom, doom, come on over to my place, like, okay, so the reason why I have a smell like bitching here, because I feel like three swords, you're the only person who could, who like, who can break, them heart, break their heart, you've seen them cry, you've maybe seen them go through a heartbreak with somebody else, or you've seen them go through some type of sorrow or suffering here, and you're the only one who, who sees this vulnerable side of them, or, you know, how they really act, or how they are emotionally. And I have cancer card. Also, when they can't control their emotions, they act very recklessly. Either indecisive or they're unsure of what's going on. You are the one who sees that. Also, what's going on is that this person also, I'm going to go ahead and say this one thing. Um, they may act like, like, you know how somebody act like they're so strong and they're macho man and this and that and this and that. But then let's say you tell them, oh, let's go here. And they like, oh, it's dangerous, dear. We're not going there. Like, But it's like, I thought you said you was about that action. Like, this person could be like that. Okay, but you have the death card here. Endings transition i just feel like there's a change there's a change here this person trying to change yeah the high priest in the unknown card the change is that they want to have a motherfucking baby the, look, look at them fucking egg the unknown card you know change like intuition needs to be listen to your intuition this person wants to be, get you pregnant okay they're very curious they want to do curiosity kill the cat like i said the will of fortune turning in your favor maybe they want to jump on you jump on your ass and um what did i say yesterday um we are from 21 Jump Street and we will jump in your ass. Like, this is person that's gonna jump on your ass, in your ass, whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, Page of Cups, they definitely um want to have a little boy or and they may have want to have a, a child. I don't know why I'm beating my head like this. Um, I'm also hearing that song by, um, I don't know how it goes, who was by. It goes like, she's falling in love now, losing control now. Fighting the truth, trying to hide, but the thing is alright, girl. I think it's by Roy Woods. I may be wrong. Um, she's falling for him and hasn't gotten up since. Should've ended it before it started. But the the part I heard is being beating on his chest like a bongo. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like with the page of cups and the six of swords here, you are right where you're supposed to be. But I feel like, you know, you need to try to overcome this curiosity. I mean, if you want to, you do will do what you do. Like I said, you will be able to persevere. You will move forward here. But this is the reward that this person wants. Yeah. Also, Fran Drescher could be a significant to the actor. Okay? Or the show that she's on. Okay? <sighs> last card, y'all. Last card. I'm hearing that song. So just bring down on me let your love some something some just rain i think it's called rain by swv and if you know what that song was really about just rain down on me like that song candy rain ooh 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 do 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 is that the song yeah fleeing the crime don't do the crime if you don't want to do the time. So, like, this this is like somebody who will, will get you pregnant, but, like, they'll leave or they'll flee the scene or, you know, motherfucker act like that ain't my baby or, um, 
Well, I wouldn't go as far as saying that ain't my baby. I would just say like, um, uh, are you sure that I did that or I didn't do that at all? Yeah. Last card, yeah, dead end. This is like a dead end. Like a motherfucker trying to take you out of the game purposely or like trying to be funny and then they're gonna flee the scene or leave you with the baby or stranded. This is not gonna be like like it could be like little dork in India, but this is this is gonna be baby mama shit. Like India literally just got married to this man. After she didn't have this man baby, got pregnant, did all this stuff, and it took forever. Like, and then on top of that, Lil Durk has all these different baby fucking moms and shit. And he's still be doing India any kind of way. But, you know, this is this is what it's giving. Like, okay, spirit. I don't know what a query needs to hear this or what you're worried about here. But, yeah, this is what it's giving. This is what the fuck is giving. Um, what signs do I have here? I have Libra. I have Cancer. I have heavy water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Heavy fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either you have these or, or this is their sign. I have Virgo here as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. Here's Scorpio. Here's Cancer. Fire sign for the Will of Fortune. Libra yet again for the Justice card. And that's the World card. Okay, so a little bit of Earth sign energy. But for this is definitely what's going on. Like This is what it's giving. This is what it's giving here. Just like what somebody's plan is, or this is a solution, or what's really going on. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you guys should be doing here. What should be your next move? Okay, we got some cards. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles of Verse. Oh, shit, and the Eight of Cups. So I feel like, you know, you will go through a financial loss, or you need to focus on financial losses. Also, this person, family may not like you, or you don't have the same beliefs or views as this person. Or um, I feel like family feud. This will cause, like, a lot of uh, uh, rifts in your family, your finances, or in theirs as well, too. Okay? Like I said, if they have some type of money or finances, this could um, be a situation where somebody thinks you're trying to steal their money or their fortune or whatever they're inheriting. But with the Eight of Cups energy, I feel like you need to walk away from the situation or, like, you know, don't accept the invitation. Don't go see this person. Don't fuck them. Yeah, with the Eight of Wands and the Magician card here. Because this person is a magician, but so are you. But I feel like Eight of Wands, they want to come in quick or they want to travel towards you, even if they have to fly you out. If they're trying to fly you out, babes, I, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Um, that's confirmation right there. But yeah, with the magician card, I honestly feel like, you know, this person being very resourceful when it comes to their approach um, and, you know, to their concentration on what they want from you. Um, but like I said, this person wants you to share the wealth or they want you to share what they think is the wealth, which is your coochie. Um, or if you're a man, this is your penis. Okay, um, but yeah... <laughs> It's like this person is trying to avoid slowing down. Like, you are not slowing down. You're full speed ahead right now. You could be um, going at the speed of light or you're moving very, very fast strategically. You know, you're leveling up or you're ascending spiritually or you're um, leveling up quick, quickly. Like, every time you get one blessing, you get another. And this person is trying to, like, sit you down or, or make you ride the bench. Or, like, this is this is what they came up in their motherfucking mind with because they're panicking. They're panicking. This is what it is. So, they have to make a quick decision. They have to do something. Something about a seagull. Could be a significance. Um, I forgot what the seagull Pokemon is. Um, with the big mouth. It's like a, a like I forgot what it's called. But that Pokemon is of significance. But like I said, this person is manipulative. They're being deceptive. This is what they're going to do. This is what's really going on here. But two of wands at the bottom of the deck. You make the decision you want to make, okay? Um, but yeah, the Knight of Cups, the offer is here. It's it's here. Yeah, the messenger, your spirit gods definitely let you know. I don't know who message that is, but baby. It's amazing I'm in this place with you. I just can't let you go. The other summer screaming some something, something, the something, you're so cold. I don't know what song that is. Holy Grail. Is that Holy Grail? Is that Holy Grail? No, it's Justin Timberlake and somebody else and Jay-Z. Holy Grail. Yeah. Like, if somebody can have a holy grail, like, inheritance, spiritual, um, lineage, bloodline, etc. Or holy grail, as in, like, you are the motherfucking holy grail. You got that holy grail. Now, this month, or you chasing the bag, or you going towards the holy grail, and this motherfucker's like, hold on, motherfucker. I'm going to tag along with you, and I'm going to make sure I have a seat on that motherfucking airplane. Okay? Also, the, the um, American Horror Story, the season, I think it's called, like, it's like the after apocalyptic one when like the whole world blows up and all this other stuff and they end up going on the ground or something like that that is of significance you may want to actually go watch that or maybe you're watching this here but let's go ahead and pull you some Dar daria cards to end this reading or close it out 
Okay, so I have two cards. I don't have low self-esteem. I have low self-esteem for everybody else. So this person could have low self-esteem or you make them feel some type of way. And I have this card that says, how come even in my fantasies, everyone is a jerk? Okay, so this person is like a jerk or like a, 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 a tight wad. Something with the word wad in it. Okay, but it says, you're doing amazing, sweetie. This person is watching and so are your ancestors, your spiritual team. And this is why this is coming through. It says, my biggest fear right now is that i wake up in this conversation won't be a dream so yeah also the song locked out of heaven by bruno mars is of significance um but it says you're a real joan of arc you know that so maybe they get off this energy i don't know if you've seen the the movie or excuse me tv show daria she has a crush on him and he kind of likes her but she's more interested in him um so yeah that is what's going on but this was the reading i hope you guys did love it and i would definitely see you all later bye